the other purpose is that they want to actually fundraise for Mary Asian Foundation and specifically the Maybook project. So I wanted to bring, and by the way, they've already raised a good amount of money. They've already raised 2000 plus thousand dollars and they are continuously asking you to purchase books from our wish list. But I'm going to let you uh, let Michelle Lee to tell you more about this initiative. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Thanks for being here. It has been such a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Um, my name is Michelle Lee. I work at Channel 5. If you wake up in the morning, I'm on today in St. Louis with Randy Dodd. Um, and then also I am the co-founder of the Very Asian Foundation and that was born from a viral moment, a negative moment that we turned into something positive. But the thing that I think is so great about what's happening today is that it is all about the talent and the energy of our young people. And so the May Book Project actually stemmed from students in St. Louis who asked for more Asian American literature back in 2021 before I went viral. And unfortunately, uh, they came up with this big list. They gave it to about a dozen schools. And they said, hey, can you buy more Asian American books for our libraries? And for whatever reason at the time, none, none of the schools on the list responded. And so our students were really disheartened by that. And so after I went viral, um, you can Google it if you don't know the story. It's too long to share. But um, we met with these students. And we met also with students from New York and New Jersey and California and they all said how important it is to be seen in the places that it matters, like school. Uh, so these students felt bad about not getting their books in their schools, so they reached out to us and then we worked with people all around the country, uh, Asian American scholars, librarians, educators, a lot of nonprofits to put together the May Book Project, which is an Asian American youth literature guide for all readers. And so I'm really I'm really proud to say that so many people from around the country came together for students in St. Louis, and now we have this project that goes all around the country. Uh, last year, in our first giving year, we impacted about 50,000 students um, across 14 states, including Washington, D.C., and um, now I'm missing maybe 80 schools. So that is all because of St. Louis students, and it's been amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's worth an applause. So I just want to thank you for coming, and I know that it's been a long afternoon, but I just love what we've been able to create today, and thank you so much to Dr. Liu and all the students. Um, it's been really incredible. So we have one final act, and I'm so excited about this because this is my lead, not just anybody. This is the my lead. Uh, if you don't know my lead, she is actually a St. Louis grown R&B singer. Uh, her music takes inspiration from her Vietnamese immigrant family. Uh, singing has also helped Miley find Asian, her Asian American voice and navigate through the difficulties of life. So if you would like to learn more about her music, she actually recently released her, uh, her first album, Friends. Miley does so much for this community. She is such an icon, in my opinion, and so many others, so please, Welcome, Miley! 